Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to answer one of the number one questions I've received since I started doing the build. We are going to uh, take the angle grinder, clean up some of this jagged aluminum around the wheel wells, put down some uh, vapor barrier, some felt, and we're going to put down some nice hardwood floor. We're going to put that down so I can start building the bed in this area and the slide out kitchen. I have some really cool ideas for the slide out kitchen, so I'm really excited to show you that. Um, the number one question that has come up on the build has been, is the floor actually attached to the metal frame? And the answer to that is no, it's not. It literally is floating in a aluminum pan and what keeps it in place is the um, kind of bent metal bracket system that I have surrounding um, the trailer and that's what the walls are sitting on. And the plywood flooring in the trailer is literally held in place by the bracket system. However, I am changing that but not for the reasons that you might think. The flooring is very secure. I have no worries about driving with it. In fact, I just did the trip with Eddie. It held up great. The flooring does not move around. Uh, I'm not worried about that in the slightest. The reason I did that was to prevent any sort of moisture from coming in by drilling holes and that sort of thing. However, as I'm getting ready to put the floor on, one thing that does bother me about the plywood flooring is that it does lift just subtly and when you step on it you do feel that kind of slight compression um, like a quarter inch because it is floating and it um, for whatever expansion contraction you do feel it kind of just slightly compressed when I'm walking on it in the uh, inside the trailer and that really it, it annoys me so uh, before I put the flooring on I'm going to show you how I actually attached it to the metal frame and pulled it down so that I don't have that kind of bouncing around a little bit when I'm walking on it. Um, again, I'll show you exactly how I did that and the process of putting the flooring down. Very excited to uh, show that to you and there's going to be a lot of exciting things coming up on the channel. Um, the inside, I got some great ideas and it's coming along nicely. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, subscribe and if you like the video when it's all done, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and without any more talking, let's get at it. Um, we've got a lot of things to do in this video. So this is the inside floor of the trailer at the beginning of the video. The sheets of plywood here have been in place for almost an entire year. They have not moved whatsoever. But to prevent the floating on the metal beams, I'm going to screw them down with two bolts on each side. These are 3 16 four inch screws that I'll be putting through the plywood. I'm just using a bigger bit to uh, kind of chamfer the opening so that the machine screw fits in there fleshly. So underneath I'll be using a rubber washer, a regular steel washer, a lock washer, and a nut. These four things will be going against the aluminum and the whole reason these are here or to prevent moisture from getting into the aluminum and reaching the plywood. So that should ensure a watertight seal so that no water will make it to the plywood. And then once these are in place, I have a metal bracket and with the screws on each side of the two by two square inch steel frame, I'll tighten these bolts down and that will pull down each piece of the plywood tightly onto the metal frame underneath. There was definitely a noticeable improvement after this was done. So when I originally laid down the aluminum on the flooring, I just cut up flares for the wheel wells and I roughly trimmed them because at this point I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. However, this is the main reason why I haven't had my dogs inside the trailer because I don't want them to cut themselves on the sharp metal. So I thought an easy solution to cut these off was to use my angle grinder with a cutting wheel on there. And I just had to be careful not to cut too close to the steel wheel well 
Um, the aluminum is quite soft compared to the thick steel for the wheel wells, so um, there was no issues there. And before I put the vapor barrier down, I need to make sure the floor is clean. So I gave it a good vacuuming. So I had to cut around the wheel wells, but I taped it up to make sure there was a tight seal. Okay, so what I've done now is I put a layer of vapor barrier over top of the flooring, and I did my best to uh, tuck it over top of the wheel wells. And the main reason I did this was in case my water tank or some sort of other um, liquid container leaks over the years and I don't know about it, um, this will prevent the water from dripping and saturating the plywood. So I've done my best to make sure the three quarter inch plywood of the flooring does not get wet and does not rot. So um, I've done my best to insulate it underneath with the aluminum and eventually um, foam insulation underneath it and this vapor barrier over top of it. Over the vapor barrier, I'm going to put this underlay, which is basically just a two millimeter kind of foam layer. And then I will be putting the hardwood flooring on top of this. Sounds like a good plan. Just going to use a double sided tape to keep the foam pad in place. Just going to put it on the corners. So I started putting down the boards and the instructions it says to start from right to left. Um, it says to go under a door jam, ideally if you can start there. But what I've decided to do is start here, and so in the right corner. What makes this particular place complicated here is this is the aluminum lip that comes out over the frame outside. This is the temporary kind of door that I have for the, um, the outside. This will be the slide out kitchen. So. Imagine a cabinet about this size sliding into here. So I'm going to screw this down uh, so it's a little more flat. This is going to be framed in, this is going to be framed in, and there's going to be this big drawer that slides out here. Um, so that's what's going on here. This will probably be the top of the bed. So I've got the uh, vapor barrier down, the underlayment, and for the most part, I think it should be fairly simple until I get to the shower um, and the wheel wells and that sort of thing. Um, the doorway, um, I have some steps that I have that I haven't installed yet that are going to go, um, they're going to actually fold into the trailer and they have kind of a ledge that goes over top of the flooring. So um, when I get to that, that's going to look unfinished at the front of the doorway, but you know, I'm kind of just going with what I think is the right order to do things. And I am anxious to get some flooring down here so I can do the framing. I really considered a bunch of different things, doing the framing first and then doing the flooring in between the framing of the, the bed and that sort of thing in case I needed to lift it up later on. But at this point, I just said to hell with it. I'm going to put the flooring down and hope for the best. But I think it's going to look really nice. I'm really excited about that.
I had to do it again, I probably would have finished all the flooring before I put the shower pan on. Um, but since that's not the case, I have this vapor barrier and what I'm going to do, it's going to bring that right up to the seam and I'm going to tape it off and put the underlay and uh, hardwood floor right up to there. Eventually there's probably going to be a false uh, trim here to cover up that. So um, that will be the plan. I'll probably seal it with some caulking up top or whatever and kind of angle it so that the water, if there's any water, it beads off. But uh, just to uh, try to avoid any water getting behind there, I'm going to seal it off with some uh, tuck tape and see how we do. You really should have a dispenser for this stuff. It's hard to, once you close it off, it's hard to get it back. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy with the way the floor turned out and it really cleans things up and it's starting to look like the cabin that I envision it to be. Next video will be working on the pull out kitchen and finishing the bunk area here. Um, I have a unique idea for utilizing all of the space here. This is almost seven feet wide drawer slides that I can find are a maximum of 60 inches or five feet and I wouldn't be utilizing all the space here. So I have a really unique idea. So stay tuned for that one. If you liked the video, I really appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe so you don't miss any more builds and uh, future adventures. Cheers.